going to assume it to you and just pick this up. Boy, you took a big chance there. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I don't know who else would be calling me at 7 in the morning. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, well, yeah, I, uh, you and I, we had, uh, we got... Uh, we got a lot of things going on. This is pretty interesting. Yes, yes. Thank we... you for doing those talks. My goodness, you really got, got them all up there, didn't you? Well, not anywhere near all of them, but the, my, uh, the first uh, days are up there now, and uh, I ran across... Uh, I've been semi-organizing, which for me it's always semi. <laughs> yeah. When my wife uh, always argues for me to clean out, and I always clean up, there's a, a major dis- difference between that philosophy, I guess. Oh, right, right. But there's a lot of nice stuff you have, all your books and all your collections and all your ideas and all your... Yeah, I can see why you don't want to toss any of it, because you never know. There might be some magical little thing hidden in there, so... Yeah, that's that's, yeah. Ver- that's very true. Uh, today, um, I, I don't know. I just felt the need for contact. It wasn't anything specific. Uh, it uh, huh. the, the conversations uh, uh, seem to energize me. Uh, you know, when I step back and think about them, uh, and I just uh, oh, me too. After I after I get off the phone is when I start thinking. Oh, I, for, but for me, it's like I think. Oh gosh, I could have said that better or I should have or I should have added or I I missed well, you the point or I I always kind of do like I didn't quite get it right but I got you might appreciate this I got a note from a friend of mine who I didn't tell her we're doing this or anything but she I, I she's a friend because of years ago she uh got in touch with me because she was reading Bill's stuff and she had been an old Joel Goldsmith student and uh, for many years and found Bill's stuff and it was like really joyful for her. Anyway, um, we got to be friends and um, didn't tell her about the, doing these little things but just kind of let it be what it was going to be and she um, came across them and wrote me a little email really encouraging she just said oh my gosh those are wonderful um how did she put it um oh here's how she put it this was really cute she said it's like you're serving the cake already done and not trying to just give the recipes like 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 you know the recipes for me are like teaching it and i that's why i keep saying i'm not a teacher because i don't want to go through all those steps and everything it's like so many brilliant people did that it's like bill books it's like he really put all the information the journaling and and he started with a guide to awareness and what awareness is and how to um understand and 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 everything is in those books i mean you don't need another book but Somehow she was saying, so those are like the recipes, you know, how to get there. So many books doing that. I can't do that. That's just not my gift. And it's been done. So she's saying, I'm delivering the cake. Like, <laughs> here's the finished cake. I thought that was so cute. If I could just be the big birthday cake, that's what I'll be. I mean, <laughs> it was great. And that's what you kind of said. It's sort of like... I don't have to, and I can't, I can't repeat how this happens. All I can say is, this this is true, it is real, it does work, it is, it is the joy of living again, and that's the birthday cake, you know, that's like, okay, can I just ha- have a slice of the cake now, here, here's a slice of the cake, um, it's like, it's like, taste it, you know, um, and know that it's real. Know that what's in your heart is is real, that what you're beginning to understand, that what you're starting to recognize, that, that those glimmers you get and those insights you get, trust them, trust yourself. Um, and that was that last talk we did, something about you've got to walk in it. You've got to uh, allow it to be what you are allow it to be in your life and make it a living reality um exercise it uh practice 
practice it. And that doesn't mean like meditate, it means put it to practice. Um, when something comes up, like, you know, the tire goes flat and you're on the side of the highway, do you rant and rave or do you stand there in the joy and look up at the sky and say, what a beautiful day? You know, there's a difference there and you can put it to practice. You can say, all is well, all is within this great total wonder. And a flat tire, who knows what, what for what beautiful reason this may you know, have happened, and uh, however you see that at that moment, you know, and however it comes to you to understand that um, um, good, looking for good, always, and, and that's an, an instruction of Bill's, is to always look for good, and so you take those instructions from his work, and then I'm saying, live them, they're real, they're absolutely true, and, and you can look for good, and when you do that, you find it. It's in everything. It's everywhere. It is the very fiber of the universe. It is pure goodness, and it's the fiber of our being. I mean, there's no separation, and so that's what I was going. But anyway, that was um, that was cute. Wasn't that a cute expression that I'm just bringing the cake? I don't have to bring the recipes. Well, cute is an understatement, my friend. <laughs> that uh, that's a fabulous metaphor, and uh, and now I know I was urged to call. Well, I, I knew it, but I didn't know it. <laughs>